Hello everybody, this is Lance here at TransWest, located in Belton, Missouri. Hey, today I'd like to talk to you about this 2014, it's a Ventana 4037. Um, beautiful thing about this coach, even though we're, I mean, we're in a nice, beautiful Ventana, but what I love about it, it comes with a 400 horsepower motor, and it's all on a tag axle, all wrapped up into about a 40 foot 10 inch overall length. So what I want to do is we're going to go ahead and start down the, the side of this coach. But as you look down the side, one of the things I want you to notice is they ordered this Ventana with the uh, window awnings. So really nice way to get some sunlight in there, but kind of keep out that direct sunlight, keep it a little bit cooler. Something pretty common for Newmar is uh, in here, you're going to see uh, the fuses. So like if your seat goes out, then this would be a great way, great place to come in, check the fuses. You don't have to like dig into a dash. So. It's uh, tech friendly and it's customer friendly. So, as we come down the coach, what you're going to notice is that we do have eight six volt batteries. Um, they were replaced in 2019, so they got the 2019 sticker on it, which is nice. Which also brings up another subject the tires on this coach were replaced in 2020. That's going to be your steer tires and also your rear tires and your tag axle tires. So, uh, Pony's got a new set of shoes. They did order this coach with the uh, slide trays. What's nice about these slide trays, they do go either direction. And what I'm also excited to see is this does have the Oasis system. So really nice upgrade for this coach. It uh, basically replaces your hot water heater. That is what heats your water, but is also responsible for heating your environment. So. That's your furnace, and that is your hot water heater, and that gives you the endless hot water. As we come into the next bay, you're gonna see, uh, this is where you have your uh, shore power cord. You got an outlet with a light in there, and I like that little knockout so you don't have to try and snake that big old uh, cord through a hole. Next bay over, we got a really nice wet bay. You've got your water filtration system. You got a knockout there for your fresh water hose. You got your hot and cold water shower. So really nice. You got no carpet in there. It's just a plastic liner. So if you do get a little wet in there, no big deal. It's got a little drain hole. So it allows water to drain out. And as I mentioned before, this does have the tag axle. And those are our 2020s. Little extra storage here. Great little place to throw some knickknacks in there. Maybe some gloves, maybe some wheel chocks. Uh, you got uh, a heater block. Well, you know what? It's so hot out here. We don't need to have that on. It's plenty warm enough. She's going to start just fine. One of the nice things is when you look at this big, beautiful rear cap, I love this, this paint scheme that they put on this. It's still got a really nice modern design. Even though it's a 2014, it still has that nice modern and uh, more of a current look. And as you can see here, we do have the 400 horsepower Cummins motor. Looks like we had some new batteries put in here for the chassis. So really like to see this. Batteries, tires, just a nice way to start out the gate. You got a nice little pegboard here to kind of hold your tools. And then as we come around here, you got a nice little extra uh, storage bay. It does come with central vac. So your central vac system to change out your your bags would be up there to empty it out. You get an extra power outlet. I always like having this close to your area where you have your tools. Maybe you want to charge up a little cordless drill. Um, nice exterior TV. I like the fact that you're not sacrificing your storage in your, in your lower bay here to have that side TV, which is kind of nice. Now this does have the extra little storage bay here. I've seen a lot of people convert that. Nice place to put like a a uh, little freezer, a little slide out freezer. It does have the dual fill, so you can fill up diesel on either side of the coach. It does have the keyless entry, something you would typically see in, in, a, in a high end coach, what you would expect. It does have the, the passenger and driver side camera, so when you're making lane changes, kind of helps eliminate that blind spot. All right, well, let's go take a look and see what we got going on inside. All right, guys, now that we're inside the 2014 Ventana, 
4037 model. Let's uh, take a look and see what we got going up, on up here. This would be the control panel. So you got a couple things going on. You have controls for your Oasis. So this particular Oasis, whether you're dry camping or plugged into shore power, it is dual. It's diesel or electric. So if you're out boondocking and you don't have any hookups, no problem. It'll use your diesel to heat your water and to heat the air. Um, you also have an auto gen start so it really has a really smart system so if for example um, if you go for a little trip and you leave some stuff on your batteries start getting really low this will automatically turn your generator on for you get your batteries charged up and then once they get charged up it'll automatically turn it off as well and um, this would be your controls for your slide outs so and this is where you turn on your satellite system all right and then over here this is kind of a nice little add-on. You've got a nice little receiver system, so you can go through and uh, get the sound to go to your TV for your speakers inside the coach, or we can just turn it on to FM tuner. Let's just turn this up. Got your Blu-ray DVD player up here, so nice little uh, cabinet to hold all your entertainment functions. All right. So now as we come through here, you're going to notice that we have a nice uh, couch here. This is going to be a nice little hide bed So this will sleep two full adults. This will be a jackknife, so a great place maybe for a grandkid. And this does have the televator. So as you're, as you're sitting across here, there we go. You can see a TV comes up into the cabinet. I like, I like the way that this is set up so that if you are sitting here, and uh, during the day, maybe you want to have your view. I like the fact that you got a window in the kitchen. You got a window here, so I can kind of see. You know, one day I might have mountain view, maybe ocean view the next. Uh, but then when I'm done for the night, maybe I want to watch a movie. I can sit down and I'm facing my TV. And as we come through here, we're going to roll into the kitchen area. Really nice deep counter space. I like how deep this is. You got plenty of room back here for like a coffee pot, toaster, blender, spice rack. So. I like the little extension here, right? Every little square inch you can get in a, into an RV is going to be really nice. This dinette workstation is a great place for those people who want to telecommute. You've got an area here where, like, if you want to put a big monitor up here, you can run all your cords up through this center part of the buffet area. And whether you've got a lot of guests or maybe it's just you, this thing is probably the largest dinette table I've ever seen. They actually it rolls up into a, into a circle. So they got all these little smaller leaves. So as this thing starts to go in, it starts to roll in on itself, but just absolutely huge table. But you would not be able to get this table if it didn't roll like that. So, and it's spring assisted. So, I mean, even if I let go, it goes in itself pretty much. So pretty nice little feature. Um, you're gonna notice that we do have the Maytag. We got the, uh, most of your residential refrigerators usually just have a water dispenser here on the door. This has both the ice and water dispenser. So it's kind of nice to have a dual functionality there. Really nice pull out pantries are really quite long. So some pretty good depth and they're all adjustable. So if you want to get them cereal boxes or other items in there, you can. Coach does come with a half bath. So you're going to have a porcelain toilet in there. These are going to be all nicer finishes, solid surface countertops. Great little storage back there, the cabinets. Um, great little half bath. So if you're entertaining, just a nice place for a company to go and guest. Or if you're heading down the road and you don't want to maybe jump over the bed, you got access for that as well. All right. As you'll notice as we come in here, how wide this opening is. Typically, your little hallways, your doors are about two foot six inches. You've got about three and a half, about three and a half four feet here. Quite a quite a big opening. Uh, so. You guys can get people walking by each other. You're not bumping into each other. Your central vac is located right here. So pretty easy access, centrally located between the motor home. Coach does come with a king bed. It is gonna be a sleep number, so it's adjustable to your preference on each side. Uh, you do have these big, beautiful cabinets here on both sides. So we got the hers and hers cabinet. So nice space in here, and they do have lights inside of them. So you can light that up. Got a little entertainment cabinet down here below. So DVD player down here. 
All right. I like this mirror. If you guys are getting ready to go out in the middle of the night, you can get ready before you're going out. And as we come into the into the back here, this is going to have a stackable washer dryer. It's kind of quite nice. Nice big oversized uh, vanity here with really deep. This goes actually quite deep, so really nice uh, setup. I like how you can turn the light on here to light up underneath the cabinet. We got some more storage back here, and you got the safe that's installed, and a really nice, really well done shower. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and pan down the the living room here. When you look at the roof, what's kind of nice is let's just see which side this is on. Uh, we got hinge on this side, so. One thing I like about this is typically in a motorhome, you're going to have these round ducts that are punched all throughout the roof. And, you know, if you want to clean, you want to have clean air, this thing will actually clean the air as it's cooling it down. But if you want to replace these charcoal filters, I didn't have to get a tool. It's all magnetic. It holds this beautiful trim piece up. But it's really easy. This is all just Velcroed on, so easily replaced. Actually, the AC is on right now. And one thing that you'll notice or that you don't notice is the noise. This is a whisper quiet air conditioning system. So they pipe it in to help eliminate the noise. What's nice about that is you don't have to raise the volume up on the TV while the AC is running. Well guys, uh, if you'd like any more information on this 2014 Ventana, uh, please give me a call. My name is Lance here with TransWest. My number is 208-290-5750 and keep in mind, we're looking for any kind of uh, used RV 2011 or newer, or any kind of light duty truck like a, a 350, 450, anything of that nature. So give us a call. Look forward to helping you.